that's the scary part. All right, so we did see some Meta Knight action earlier with s but now we have AC here mm -hmm. against Nico. We've got the Shulk on deck. Um, pretty much one of the only Shulks that have, uh, in my, like, hands down, Nico's the best Shulk in it. Yeah. But, um, you know, there are some other Shulks in the world that have uh, contested him, like Kome mm -hmm. from Japan. So in my, in my opinion, those two are, like, the highest. And it's funny because every time they enter attorneys, they get, like, very similar or, like... They, they always get the same place. I believe it was, like, um, Frame Perfect, they got both 17, but then that's the reward they both got 30. Oh, wait, who, so. who plays higher? Oh, no, Kome didn't play. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. If, if Kome was there, it pretty much would have been, like, Sonato Saga with the Kome, yeah. <laughs> So we got AC on the Meta Knight, a character that's definitely known for his speed definitely, and his ladder combos. He definitely starts him off a lot with dash attacks, so he wants to use that speed frozen. And we might get a ladder off the top here, but he's still able to get out and switch to the shield Sonata, but back to the button. AC definitely one of the interesting specimens in SoCal, because uh, he's in HGR twice uh, now. Uh, but he, his his SoCal rating has always been like kind of low, like he's yeah. always like in the nine ten range. But this this season now he's uh, six, yes. which is pretty nine. dang high. So yes. especially in SoCal, Bre like breaking up into the upper echelon from like top ten to top five in my opinion is insanely hard because the level of competition is that much harder. Yep. All right, the shield arc back online. Oh, and the switches back to smash arc. Ooh, we got the sus DI <laughs> combined with the smash Monado. We're going exit stage left. Yeah. You just you could just tell AC was trying to jump left on the way, and yeah. then uh, <laughs> Nico's just like, nah, I'm not having any of that. Like Nico was like, please, DI yeah, left. <laughs> but we got the classic subtle loop combo there. Going to close it out for AC, but this Buster Monado is not going to do too well. Wow, he's so <laughs> uh, he got he got like the late hits of the of the tornado. Oh, so. like yeah, the yeah, tornado. yeah. The full tornado will do like a good thirty, uh, especially with Buster Art, I think. So. Okay, he's gonna try with the roll on ledge here. Up there, up air, with the shuttle loop. Good damage, but not gonna be the stock. It was kind of funny. You saw that Nico was kind of mashing to get to the shield art, but it didn't even matter. He got hit by the shuttle loop even when it came out. But we're going back to jump art. Ooh, the high recovery. Yeah. And you see how with jump art, when you're on the ledge with jump art, your ledge drop double jump gets into the, like the center stage. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. Yeah. But the smash art, and that's how we closed it out last time. See if AC is able to avoid it here. The smash art actually going to help Nico in that situation because it sent him farther. Yeah. All right, Zach. The thing about shield, oh, beautiful. Awesome. Not able to link these uh, second up airs to try and get something. Oh, oh wow. the jump art yep. just gets that back air. And you saw how like deep towards the center stage that AC put that back air. So he really called out that double jump back to the center stage there. Like a super hard call on that jump and auto jump like back to the center. Yeah, Amazing I mean when, when you have jump art, that's basically your best option. Yeah. So it, like the way that a lot of people say is, is like when you're edge guarding or ledge trapping someone, just pick the best option first and like go down from there and see if yeah. they try to mix up with like the second best or something after that. Because in those high pressure situations, it's like okay, let's just go for the best option. Yeah. Because it's gonna get me out of the most stuff. What a call out from AC. And um, another person from San Diego as well. I believe he, he should be number two, right? Yeah, he should be. Yeah. I haven't kept I, I haven't kept up too much with San Diego since I moved, but I mean, yeah. as long as nothing too crazy has been happening down there. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. The only one that can t contests the two of them is Phoenix. Yeah. So. All right, so we're gonna get this back with big damage coming out. We got the smash battle online here. Down throw. Oh, actually, he goes for the air slash. That was an interesting option. And that dash attack was so close to hitting. Again, this smash monado is going to help him when he, when AC does want to get a combo start because the smash monado affects him as well. So I don't like that. Yeah. Using the down smash, I like that. Try to call out both options, steady good drift, but just a little bit misexecuted, and then he actually loses his stock there with the BD back here. Yeah, Nico's going to call out that down smash. Really, really good stuff. Now. Oh, gets the shield art online and gets hit back on the stage here. Yeah, I think that AC knew that the shield art was going to come back on, so he decided not to like, stay it or yeah, get, exactly. get the shuttle loop weaker. And it's such an interesting thing because you know, 
Shulk can get edge guarded. Oh, I don't see it. <laughs> AC is dem demonstrates to us yes. how Shulk is edge guarded. But uh, Shulk is also a really good edge guarder because it, you see that forward area, it, it actually goes really low as well. Yeah. So it covers from like above him down to below him, and it just hits your opponent like in such a good angle. He actually does really well at edge AC approach, then rolled back, then approach, then rolled back, and then finally got a grab. I mean, just rolling in general is pretty good in this game, but Meta Knight, particularly, his role is absolutely amazing, along yeah. with like, some of the other characters like really and stuff. And that's even since Brawl. Brawl, rolling wasn't that great, but you could roll with Meta Knight because Meta Knight's role was so good. Yeah, he just goes in his cape and it's like, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, and the shield is not, not going anywhere. Oh, the air slide. Oh, any any hit you get in uh, shield art is crazy to be a victory for control. Oh, yeah. Especially, it, it's crazy to... Oh, and the down throw with the smash art. Yes, it is. Just gonna do it. Came out just in time yeah. for it to be able to kill. Yeah, he, he was, like, switching arts as the throw was, <laughs> yeah. like, going on. So, I mean, we just see that Monado management, and I can't wait. I, I, I wonder... I'm not completely sure if Nico is planning. I'm assuming he's planning on playing Shulk in Ultimate if he's stuck with him for this long. Yeah. This um, it... I definitely want to see what he can do with the uh, instant switch, where you yeah. can like press B and kind of like toggle. With him, you know, yeah, forward. that'll be very interesting. So. All right, Rocky, the neutral color Meta Knight this time. Red's not uh, working out today, I guess. Got to change the wardrobe sometimes. You know? Yeah, I, I I feel it. And it, it wasn't even the uh, Japanese tech where you're like trying to like mess with the shade. He, oh, right. he just like people. Yeah. Oh, the spot dodge power shield and gets a grab, but doesn't actually follow up with anything that time. Yeah, I'm on the ledge here, puts the buster mode on. I, I really like when Nico puts the buster when he's got him on the ledge. Uh, essentially, your opponent has less options, and you're just trying to cover them. And if you nail it, you just get even more damage. So I, I think I definitely think it's one of the better times to have that. Oh uh, yeah, especially at the earlier percent. Ooh, the reverse up. You're gonna catch AC slipping there. Again, on the ledge. Let's see what the option is. Oh, oh. just clips him with the down tilt. Real nice. Dang, and that, that beam sword has got some range. This joint is, or the this joint on silver is pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the speed arc trying to get out there as quick as possible. All right, and then the fair on landing is able to catch him again. Ooh, the air. Honestly, just get punished there. With the field grab. AC trying to get him in a really bad position with that back air. Ooh. Oh, and that, that's such a good DI mix up. Because you're DIing for the like, down throw, but. Oh, the. Okay. Smash art with the down throw. Not going to be quite enough here. Oh, the call out there. Wow. Very yeah. high drill rush. Mm -hmm. Very uh, interesting option coming from him. Oh, boy. That was, uh, that was pretty scary. Yeah, that was very scary. That Meta Knight forward smash will obliterate you. It's one of the strongest forward smashes in the game. And it has a very, very low cooldown for how powerful it is. Yeah. And it's pretty safe on field, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, that's why you just see them like, spam it sometimes. Oh, yeah. You, you, doing uh, doing forward smash with Meta Knight in neutral is a legit option. The second hit of Shuttle was not connecting there, but run it back once again. Gonna yeah. connect. Definitely, I don't think Nico was expecting that, so you just to uh, seal that out. With the NATO and the Buster Art. And I always thought that's like the one of the interesting things about the Monado Art is that it does, like, usually whatever the buff you get, it, your opponent also gets that buff. Yeah. You, you know it would be funny if Speed Art actually made your opponent faster too? <laughs> then, like, what would be the point, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> Uh, Sakurai, I hope you're not watching. Don't take notes from this guy here. <laughs> oh, the tornado for max damage, though. But I, I, I do believe Speed Art, uh, he becomes more like combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is still a down. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I thought like for a second. Uh, yeah. Uh, I thought for a second there, when he was getting that tornado, he was just going to drag him off to the side. He was going to pull an Ido or something oh, like that yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and get the kill, but it looks like it's not happening there. Back to the shield art we go for it, man. And this is one thing, even with the shield art, just the way Rage works in this game, you become tankier but and you're not as powerful, but Rage kind of compensates for that. So I've still seen uh, shield model art uh, show, kill at pretty early percent because of this rage. Yeah. Shield art online once again down there. Not too so far here. Ooh, try to connect the back early. Yeah, show this. Not so Ooh, yeah. Okay, that was the first time AC did like a stutter step in the forward smash. That can definitely catch people if you know that they're like spot dodging or like dropping to a bit too early trying to get aggressive. Down throw. Almost killed with the combination of rage and the smash motto. What oh. a tech though! <laughs>
And just wow. as AC was trying to get back to the stage, just throw out the air slash and get rid of that next stop. Yeah, and that's another great thing about Shulk edge guarding is when he... Nico will always like to do the reverse up B while he's recovering back to the ledge because it's just this new hitbox that can kill you or send you back off stage and he's going to ledge. Mm -hmm. So we just, wow, that was such a clutch tech in the uh, punish right there. Yeah. Looks like it just straight up beat the <laughs> Yeah. Alrighty, AC pulling out the mysterious tech of roll behind your opponent this time and, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and get the, the ultimate <laughs> Meta Knight mix up. Yeah. And Nico, yeah, I mean, again, like, Shulk, Shulk is one of those characters that you're usually going to want to live at these ridiculously high percent. You have the shield and auto, and we definitely saw Nico damage that. And, you know, you have, when you, you can find those openings with Smash and Rage combined, you can just get such a good kill. Alright, switching up the arts here. Yep, he's going to air dodge through that. Ooh, it just forward smashes him. Doesn't even try and get the gas. He just yeah. knows that he's going to drift towards the ledge. Yep, really smart stuff from Nico. Very early lead here for him. And, I mean, right now, if he, he, if he takes the game, that is going to be the W for him. So, he's got to figure this out right now. But as I'm saying that, Nico is just going to work. I think he's gotten at least 100 damage. Oh, well, going from that Buster Art into Scratch. Oh, yeah. It, Nico makes... He, he gets so aggressive with uh, Buster Art. And it, it, it's insane because you know, Shulk is one of those like super tight characters. You keep your distance. You don't have the fastest range setup, but you have that range. Yeah, but uh, like with these different uh, arts, you can change up your playstyle. And that's like one of those. It reflects in one of those playstyles here. Oh, he needs to try to go for the up air as he rises towards the stage. Ooh! not. He actually got capped. He probably would have been able to make it, but the stage kind of like capped him down. Mm -hmm. But he that second slash, especially in the jump part, you go pretty far up. You yeah. I wonder if that was intentional for Macy, the little... Because sometimes when the way you throw out the drill up, drill, the drill rush, yes. you can kind of just fall to your death. Yeah, you can like slightly angle it so it actually holds you. Yeah, so that was definitely interesting. Uh, and if there was, an AC was quick thinking at a very uh, difficult time. And we see that forward air again. Like I said, it goes below show. So it's actually also really good for catching two frames or people just double jumping to the ledge like that. Solid stuff from Nico. 3-1 victory here over AC. Yep. Yeah, I remember Nico tweeting one time that he was saying, uh, dang it, if I went to more events, I probably could have been PGR'd. <laughs> And yeah. because he got a PGR win just now, so yeah, I mean they're not. It's not. I know it's like a local thing, but still, yeah. there's like money on the line. Like, oh yeah, yeah, they're they're, yeah. they're trying. So it, yeah, it, it's really hard. I mean, for the most part, SoCal, you have a lot of bigger, especially last year, you had a lot of bigger tournaments in terms of opportunity. 